Hi guys, Kathy Richards, entrepreneur, checking in for Makeup Monday. So I am a registered dietitian and an Arbonne Independent Consultant, sharing tips and tricks on health and wellness for busy families. So today is week nine in my makeup series. So stay tuned, I may be back next week. I'm, I haven't gone through all of our uh, wonderful makeup products. Just trying to see if I can uh, make sure that my video is on in the right place. And then I'll, uh, I'll get going. I've got something fun today for a great tip for anyone that's uh, going to be going to the beach and needing some, some extra coverage. All right. Okay. So that's fun. So today I want to talk about our um, Got You Covered Mineral Powder Foundation. So it's got an SPF of 15. So does anyone use mineral powder foundation? Do you guys like it or do you stay with the liquid? So we've got this uh, mineral powder foundation and then we've also got the liquid foundation. To be honest, I like a light coverage so I don't really use the... Um, liquid foundation at all. Um, in the mineral um, powder foundation there's 12 different shades so lots of options to give you some good coverage. So I thought I would just touch base quick. It's got SPF 15 and I'll show you quickly how we uh, how we put on a mineral powder foundation. So the one thing I like about ours is it has like a little um, net there so the foundation stays down below so then you're not getting a whole bunch on your brush unless it's been traveling and sometimes it might shift a bit so what you would do is just tap your brush take a nice big brush tap it in over that net and then you can tap off any extra and then the best way to apply a mineral powder foundation is in small circular motions and it's best maybe to start on the outside of your face and do a good outline on your face and then work your way in. And the great thing, the brushable blots, so I don't need to add any extra. The great thing about this uh, mineral powder foundation is it has Optilite technology, so it actually helps your skin be smooth. It won't clog pores, so it's been dermatologically tested and um, it's lightweight so you can build coverage so you can you know apply it once and then if you find out oh that's not enough coverage then you can go back and do that same process again so it's a great product because you can build it you can use it with the um, the CC cream so I talked about that you know way back near week one I think and um, that's how I use it I apply this a light layer over top of the CC cream just to get more of a, a matte finish. So it's a great product, great beach tip. If you're going to the beach, take this with you. If you're outside and you're hot and you don't want your face to be shiny and you need to reapply to get some SPF factor, hey Elizabeth, um, you can, you know, hop this, pop this in your um, beach bag and then reapply on the go. So you get rid of the shine and then you get your SPF factor back. So Gotcha Cover Mineral um, Powder Foundation, great option. And uh, if you want any more information, I'm going to pop a, a quick um, visual of some great uh, summer tips using some different products. So I'll put that below the video. And then if you want any more information, if you want some help color matching to see what foundation is right for you, if you're in the Ottawa area, let me know. I'm happy to uh, set that up for you. And uh, <clears throat> if not, you can take a look on the website. Like I said, there's 12 different um, colors of that mineral powder. So lots of options to match different skin tones. So hop on over to my um, Kathy Richards Entrepreneur Facebook page, and then you can uh, check the link there. All right, so thanks for popping in. I hope everyone enjoys the summer. Remember to get that SPF factor on. and. It's great if you can have a makeup or moisturizer where it's built right in and then it takes some of that thought out of, out of your morning. Okay, I hope you guys have a great uh, week and I'll see you on Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday. Bye guys!